Hello everyone. Hello students. By the way, this is Teacher Mark, and together with me is the Agapai team or network of teachers. Welcome to our Earth and Life Science class. Today, we will explore another lesson or topic that will help you understand how the Earth works. We will discuss an introductory lesson that I specially designed to you on minerals and rocks. But before we engage in learning, I hope you have prepared the following. Your favorite notebook, your notepad, and pen. Of course, the worksheets for this lesson. So what are the things that is or are expected of you to learn here? We have here our goals. Together, let us read aloud our goals. First, I can identify what a mineral is. Second, I can describe the properties of a mineral through a common sample or material. Students, we will be familiarizing the basic properties of a mineral before we delve into its specific properties. That's why I'm telling you to note that this is an introductory lesson on minerals and rocks. More importantly, here is our hashtag QOTD or question of the day. What makes a mineral mineral? Did it ever occur to you to ask if all the rocks can be considered as minerals or are all minerals can be considered as rocks? What do you think? Well, to help you find out the answers to that question, let's perform the following activities. From the first activity called or titled Picture Play. So the directions are very simple. All you need to do is to determine whether the object is a mineral or not. But how? That is by showing these reactions. You may show a happy face, just like this one, if the object depicts a mineral. And a sad face if the object depicts as not a mineral. Let me see your reactions to them. Okay, that's it. So are you ready for our first object? Let's start. What object you can see in this slide. So we have here a water. So do you think water is considered as a mineral? Okay, let me see your reactions. Ready? Go. All right, let's check your answers. Well, water is not a mineral, but why? Please hold on to your thoughts or answers. Let's proceed to the second object. How about tube ice or ice tubes? So you are buying ice tubes for your favorite juice. So can we consider ice tube or tube ice as a mineral? Let me see your reactions. Go! Okay, let's check your answer. Well, tube ice is not a mineral. Okay, let's go to the next. So we have here a snowflake. Is snowflake a mineral? Let me check your response. Go! Okay, so let's check your answers. Well, snowflake is considered as a mineral, but why? So again, hold on to your thoughts or answers. This time, we have here an object, a common ingredient that you are using when you are cooking your favorite um, food or viand, ulam. We have here a halite or commonly called as table salt, a seam. 
So can we consider a scene or table salt or halide as a mineral? Let me see your reactions. Ready, set, go! Alright, let's check your answers. Well, halide is considered as a mineral. How was your activity? How was how were your thoughts, your responses, your reactions? So if you got four out of four, then congratulations. And if you get uh, less than four, then I think it's the best time for you to uh, explore more and perform other activities. But I just want to ask you. Have you noticed something? Have you noticed why is it that water and tube ice are not minerals while snowflake and halide are considered as minerals? What is uh, really meant by a mineral? Anybody? Okay, to answer again, Let's do a group work. Let's have a fun activity called a Gogomo Challenge. Are you familiar with the Gogomo Challenge? What does Gogomo Challenge stands for? Gogomo stands for go as in get one, give one, and move on. Simply, you will find a partner, maybe your playmate, your chatmate, your classmate, or sidmate. Then you will get one or more idea from him or her then you yourself will give one or more idea too after that you will move on and find another partner then repeat the process clear so are you ready your gogomo challenge starts now Let us do another round. You may find another mate or partner and learn together. Ready, set, go. Hey, hi, so. How was your Gogomo challenge? I hope you are keeping your face in like Did you know that by definition, according to your earth science discipline, when we say mineral, it is a naturally occurring inorganic solid with an orderly crystalline structure and a definite chemical composition. Try to note the highlighted words there. What do you mean by those words? Let's discuss them one by one. First, what is meant by naturally occurring? When you say naturally occurring, a mineral is not man-made and not machine-generated. Simply, it is made by nature. Your social science tells you that minerals are natural resources. They came from nature. Clear? Next, how about inorganic solid? Talking about inorganic solid, minerals are not a byproduct of living things or organisms. They are not produced by us, by humans, by animals, or other organisms. Next, a mineral has a crystalline structure or form with different crystals and shapes. What do you think is the shape of the mineral snowflake? And highlight, do you have something in mind there? We will delve there more. Next, with definite chemical composition, a mineral has specific chemical properties. To name these chemical properties, one of them is having a chemical formula. In summary, minerals are the basic building blocks of rocks. And to be a mineral, an object or material has to meet all the following basic criteria. The first criteria is it occurs naturally. Second criterion is 
It is an inorganic solid substance. Third, an object or material must have crystals and shapes. And lastly, it must have a definite chemical composition. Are you getting our point here? So please take note. Now let us go back and look at the previous materials, those four materials we had in our first activity, the future play, and try to review if they meet all the basic criteria to be considered as a mineral by performing activity number three titled Mineral Lookout. The directions are still very simple. All you need to do is to mark, check, or X, or tick the box if the following criteria is found or are found in water. I know that you already knew the answer already, that water is not a mineral, but let's try to find out, clarify, if each of these criteria is found or observed in water. Ready? May now answer, go. Time's up. How was your answer? Let's check your answer. Well, water is not a mineral because of these two criteria that it did not meet. And what are they? Water is not an organic solid substance and has no crystalline structure. Water can be considered only as a solid substance if it is in the form of ice or glacier. That explains why water is not a mineral. Second, did tube ice meet all the criteria below? You may write your answers now. Time's up! So what are the criteria that is or are not found in Chubais? Let me see your answers. Chubais is not a mineral. Simply, it does not occur naturally. Not made by nature, it is man-made, artificially made. You knew that snowflake is a mineral. But try to answer or give your answer what criteria or criterion is found or are found in Snowflake. Ready? Go! Time's up! Let's check your answer. Snowflake is definitely a mineral because all the basic criteria is or are found in Snowflake. Snowflake meets the definition of a mineral. You can fact check the information through the website or link posted on the screen. Next, did a highlight meet all the criteria again? Ready? Go! Of course, you knew the answer again. Halite meets all the criteria of a mineral. And it is one of the common minerals that you are using every day. This time, let us demonstrate the properties of a mineral through a common sample mineral or material. By doing activity for find my match. So the directions are simple. Describe the properties of the mineral halite. You will match the properties of the mineral to each area located on column A. Fill out and complete the missing blanks on the table using the words from the bank. Make sure to put all your answers on column B. I will be giving you a list of words on our word bank. I will be showing you here the table. So we have here column A and column B. You will fill out column B from our word bank. Ready? 
go. Time's up. Did you complete? We have here table. the properties of Halai on the table. Okay, so let's, let's check, check your Halai answers. The table it has the following chemical composition or formula of NaCl or sodium chloride. Its luster is described as non-metallic. It is soft with 2 to 2.5 hardness, color white. It's trick or in, in a powdered form. It's also white. And we have here the shape or the cleavage. Cubic. Crystal form. Perfect cubic. With a specific gravity of light 2.2. Other properties it is salty when tasted. Very soluble. And to delve more on the specific physical and chemical properties, I want you to research them. You may also research you may also research on the list of examples of minerals found in your home. And we will try to find out whether they have the basic properties. Okay? Let's make sure that you have learned something today by going back to our hashtag QOTD or question of the day and by completing the last activity that we have. Again, what makes a mineral mineral? You may share what you have learned on this activity called the egg mapping. Using the organizer, you will describe what a mineral is based on your learning or based on our discussion. Write any ideas inside each crack shell of the egg. Are you getting our points here? You will start answering before 20 seconds start and run out. Ready? Go! All right, did you complete our egg mop? At this moment, on your worksheet, you may check yourself, rate yourself by choosing either yes or no as your response. Mark, check, or tick on the box before each response. Note that these are our goals or expectations for you. I can identify what a mineral is, I can describe the properties of minerals through a common sample material or mineral. Ready? Go! For your references, we have here flashed on the screen. Before we end this lesson, let me remind you this quotation. Let your mind be like a parachute. It works best if it's open. And congratulations for completing this introductory part of your lesson about minerals and rocks. Let us call this a day. Hope to see you again and always enjoy learning. Bye!